reboots, revivals, revivals, reboots, spin-offs, sequel movies, live action remakes. It seems like nowadays that is all we get. What happened to original ideas? Oh, that's right, they're purging them. Whoopsie. Nah, but seriously though, there are a lot of projects being greenlit recently that are based off of pre-existing IPs. Some of which I don't think are all that bad of ideas, but others are, well, a bit questionable. Do we really need another Smurfs movie? Or a live action Aristocats remake? I, I, I don't think so, personally. Regardless though, I know some of you guys aren't as chronically online as I am, so I thought I would break away from my usual style of videos to talk about every major revival or reboot of a childhood series, specifically sticking with Nick, Disney, and Cartoon Network. Let's do this. All right, let's just get into it. I don't have to explain anything else. Y'all know what a reboot is. First things first, we have the Wizards of Waverly Place revival slash sequel series. Now see, Selena Gomez has been one of the only Disney Channel stars to regularly push for a revival series of their old shows. She's been doing it for years. So it didn't really come to much of a surprise when in January 2024, a sequel series to Waverly Place was announced, one that would center around David Henry's character and would have a cameo appearance by Selena herself, of course, playing Alex. It seems like they aren't the only former crew members to come back, however, as the parents seem to be committed to some sort of guest role as well. Apparently, Jake T. Austin even said that he'd be back too, so look at that. The only former cast member that seemingly has confirmed their involvement is Jennifer Stone, who played Harper. But like the screenshot right here says, it wouldn't be surprising to see her come back to some capacity. It seems like it'll be about Jess's new family, but aside from brief details you can find online, there's not too much out there about it, besides the fact that the show will actually be on Disney Channel instead of Disney Plus, surprisingly. Unlike the iCarly revival, it seems like this will be for kids instead of adults who grew up watching the show. Will this affect the quality of the series? I guess only time will tell. There's no release date yet, but we can expect it to be pretty soon, considering I'm pretty sure they're filming right now. On to the next show. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Henry Danger came out after Nick fell off. This video is called Childhood TV Show Reboots, but Henry Danger isn't my childhood. I was 15 when it came out. Yeah, I know. But you have to keep in mind that people out there were born at different times, which means the shows that shaped their childhood might be different than yours. Case in point being Henry Danger. Now, Henry Danger is a show that I personally did not grow up with, but even with that being the case, it's basically impossible to ignore its presence and dominance on the network. The show came out in 2014 and had, whoa, that can't be accurate. Somebody from Google is definitely getting fired. Uh, it had five seasons, which extended its run to 2020. Since then, it's had a spin-off series, which recently ended. And really, when you think about it, this show is genuinely one of Nick's most successful things they've ever aired. I mean, the franchise lasted 10 years, more or less, which is pretty impressive. With all that being said, even while Danger Force was airing, matter of fact, I think even when the original show was airing, a Henry Danger movie was in development. Apparently, the movie was originally supposed to be theatrical, though, which is very interesting. But for whatever reason, it just never got off the ground. That is, until earlier this year, when the movie finally began filming. It actually just wrapped up recently, too, sometime in April. Nothing about the plot is known, but considering they just wrapped up filming, if I had to guess, it'll probably come out later this year, around December, or maybe even early 2025. This isn't the only reason Nickelodeon revival movie though. Matter of fact, last year we got Zoe 102, and earlier this year we got the Thundermans film. It's not surprising that Nick wants to keep pumping out these movies. However, as it stands now, it seems like this is the only revival based off a of live action Nick show that is currently in development. And it's actually the last live action show we'll talk about in this video because every other revival that's coming up that's based on a TV show is actually animated. Our first animated series we'll talk about is the revival of Disney's hit animated series, Phineas and Ferb. Most of us grew up watching this show. It's a classic and one of Disney's greatest cartoons. So it shouldn't have been surprising when Disney announced the show was coming back. And yes, 
the original cast and crew is coming back as well, including the creators. Now, it's important to note that this isn't the first time the Phineas and Ferb franchise has returned. There was a movie a few years ago on Disney Plus that I guess was really a test to see if there was still an audience for more Phineas and Ferb. And it looks like there is. What's interesting though, is that this isn't a reboot, nor is it a sequel series. No, it seems like they're just bringing back Phineas and Ferb for two more seasons, kind of like how Dexter's Laboratory was brought back a few years after it originally ended. I actually have a video about that, which I completely forgot about. Go check that out. The revival was announced in January 2023, and the two seasons will consist of 40 episodes. If I had to guess, I'd probably say we'll get some of these episodes this year, though you never know considering the strike did impact a lot of productions of different TV shows. Either way, it does seem like we will be seeing more of Phineas and Ferb soon. And who knows, maybe if this revival run is successful, they'll bring it back for even more seasons. Another popular animated series that'll be coming back to us at some point is The Amazing World of Gumball. This case is a little weird though, admittedly. In 2021, it was announced that a new Gumball movie and series were being put into development. However, a year later, when they started purging everything over at Warner Brothers, the Gumball movie was announced to no longer be in development at HBO Max. Now, unlike the other projects that were shelved by WB, this movie still does have a shot at being released because the studio made it available for other companies to purchase. They did this with a few projects like Batman Cape Crusader, which will now be released by Amazon. Word on the street is, at the time of this video, the Gumball movie still hasn't been picked up by any studio yet. But the series, which is really just an extension of the original show, is still in active development. Matter of fact, if you do enough digging, you can find a Reddit post detailing all of the updates regarding the new seasons. I'll link it in the description. One of these updates includes a storyboard artist that just finished production on season seven. Considering it seems like the new seasons are either still in production or maybe just now are starting to wrap up, I wouldn't expect this anytime soon. But fortunately for you, there are 240 episodes of the original show to hold you down for now. The next one, <sighs> this next one, doesn't bring me much joy to talk about, but it seems like they are once again attempting to bring back the Fairly Odd Parents franchise. You'd think they would have learned from the last time, but they are attempting it once again. So yeah, Nick is doing a new series called Fairly Odd Parents, A New Wish. This actually got leaked a little while ago and the pictures and even some footage from the pilot are available out there, but I won't be including any of it because that could lead to my channel getting taken down. Uh, scratch that. At the time of when I originally wrote this video, all of the footage and photos available were from leaks, but since then, an entire trailer is online now. So that's the footage you see on the screen currently. This new show will, unlike the previous reboot, be completely animated, and it has been picked up for 20 episodes, all of which will air on Nickelodeon and Netflix. Now as for the plot, a new girl named Hazel will be the focus, with Cosmo and Wanda serving as the supporting roles. Look, I'm not saying this will be bad, matter of fact, it does kind of look a little decent. But at the same time, when was the last time Fairly Odd Parents was good? Just genuinely asking. For me, the cutoff point was a little after Poof was introduced. Anything else after that? Nah, I'm good. Y'all can have that. I will say though, I do like the animation. I know some people are mad that it doesn't look like the original show, but I was never really that impressed with the show's animation to begin with. I'm not saying it was bad, obviously, but it was standard for a Nick show of its time. It wasn't really anything special, to me at least. This new show is still in the same energy as the original, so I don't really see an issue. It looks nice. The release date is May 20th, so if you're interested, feel free to give it a watch. Let's get a... Uh, Let's get Shiny Teeth Part 2. I want to see if Chip Skylark still got it. It might be washed now, I don't know. Speaking of Butch Hartman shows coming back from the dead, you guys remember Danny Phantom? I'm sure you do. Now this one I'm only going to mention briefly because there isn't much validating this report, but according to inside scooper Daniel RPK, who can be hit or miss sometimes, a live action Danny Phantom film is in development. No reliable trades has backed this claim up. However, with Nickelodeon's recent output of reboots like the live action Avatar or the previously mentioned Fairly Odd Parent show, it would not surprise me at all if this was something they're actually doing. And really, even if it does get made, it'll probably be on a Paramount Plus budget, which I don't know, man, that's risky. We might have another Kim Possible on our hands. Again, no clue if this is real or not, but don't be surprised if we get an official announcement for it soon. You never know nowadays. Now, these two shows were actually announced at the same time, which is pretty fitting considering they were made by the same creator, the GOAT and legend himself, Craig McCracken. That's right, 
reboots for both the Powerpuff Girls and Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, which was one of my all-time favorite Cartoon Network shows, are in active development. And before you start losing your minds and freaking out, yes, Craig is coming back, or both. So we should expect some pretty high quality stuff, and not whatever this show was. Now, the Powerpuff Girls reboot seems to be aimed towards a similar demographic as the original show, but Foster's is taking a bit of an interesting turn. The upcoming Foster's reboot will be actually a preschool show, which I know some of you might be disappointed about. However, I do think this show could work in such a format, and being such a big fan of it, I think there's potential here. And as for the Powerpuff Girls reboot, well, the same applies to that, especially if they take a more serialized approach to it, with having actual story arcs. That would be different, and I would totally be down for that. No release dates have been announced, but considering these projects were announced two years ago, it wouldn't surprise me if we get updates for them soon. Oh boy, Ren and Stimpy, one of Nickelodeon's first cartoons, and yes, I'm aware about what happened with the creator, and no, I do not feel like talking about it. Years ago, it was announced that a Ren and Stimpy reboot was in development at Comedy Central, but thanks to COVID, it got severely delayed. In 2021, Billy West, aka Ren and Stimpy, confirmed the show was still in development, and just recently some title cards leaked onto the internet, but I won't be showing them in this video because again, it would probably get taken down. And I don't want that to happen. There's no release date, so I don't know when it's coming out, but there's a decent chance it might be soon, who knows. And then we got Gargoyles, one of Disney's most popular 90s cartoons. I, I, I know nothing about this show, I'm sorry. It used to air on Disney XD though, I, I remember that. Uh, yeah, Gargoyles is getting a live action reboot on Disney Plus, because of course. It'll be produced by Gary Doberman and James Wan. I'm not too familiar with Gary's work, but James Wan might be one of the only perfect people to adapt something like this. The original show was created by Greg Wiseman, although he probably still hasn't forgiven Disney for how they treat a spectacular Spider-Man, there's a possibility that they reach out to him as a consultant of some sort. Funny enough, this isn't the first attempt at a live action Gargoyles. Matter of fact, there were one and a half other ones. They tried to make one in the 90s, but ultimately it ended up not being fully fleshed out. And then in 2010, Disney attempted to make another movie about Gargoyles, but it wasn't actually based on the Gargoyles show, which was weird. But now it seems like we're back with the whole Gargoyles live action thing. I bet you fans of the original show would have preferred it to be animated, but here we are. So this reboot wasn't even announced by the time I was writing this script for the first time. It is brand new information at the time of me going back and recording this, so much so to the point where I don't even have a script for this part. I'm just hoping I can, I can do this correctly. So it was just recently announced that Netflix will be making a live action Scooby-Doo show, which... <sighs> now get this, it's being produced by Greg Berlanti, and if that name sounds familiar, well, he's kind of like the uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. of producers. Tim Hardaway Jr. is an NBA player that is either really good or like really, really bad. And to me, Greg Berlanti is cut from a similar cloth. You might know Greg from producing shows like The Flash, Arrow, and Superman and Lois. But he's also produced stuff like Riverdale and the Green Lantern movie. And he was in charge of that live action Power of Girls show that fortunately got canceled. So I... I, I don't know what to expect from this. I don't want to be too pessimistic, but I don't want to see another live action Scooby-Doo. I really don't, but it seems like we're getting it. So I guess we'll see what happens. There are also some other reboots that were rumored or teased years ago that seemed they'll never actually see the light of day. For instance, Curse the Cowardly Dog was supposed to get a prequel on the Boomerang streaming service app, but that never happened, obviously. It was going to be called Before Courage, and as much as it pains me to say it, I don't think a Courage prequel is a good idea, so I'm not too bent out of shape about that one not happening. Uh, I know Recess apparently was supposed to get one years ago, but again, I doubt it's happening. And then there were other shows like Clarissa Explains It All and Lizzie McGuire. They were all at one point supposed to receive revivals, but both ended up getting canceled for various reasons. Oh, yeah, and who could forget the live-action Powerpuff of Girl show that was just doomed from the start. That was, uh... That was fun. Uh, regardless of what ends up happening with some of the projects listed, I felt it was important to get this video out so that you are all aware of the reboots and revivals coming out that are based on shows potentially from your childhood. What I want to know though is which one of these projects coming up are you the most interested in? Is your favorite show getting a reboot? And even if it's not, don't worry because it's probably just going to get a rewatch podcast. <laughs> Shout out to the Zeke and Luther pod for real. 
Mr. Nostalgia in the building. Yeah, it's always good to see Mr. Mr. Nostalgia. nostalgia. Uh, uh, yeah, Mr. Nostalgia. Yeah, I've seen I've seen some of your stuff, man. As always, subscribe if you're new and don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Mr. Nostalgia and I'm out for now. Peace.